Let's do an example with the washer method. In particular, this example. The region bounded by this quadratic and this line is revolved around this horizontal line to generate a solid. And we're asked for the volume of that solid. Your first step with these problems pretty much has to be to graph them. Otherwise, you are not going to be able to different to distinguish between the outer and inner radii. Starting from the axis of revolution, we draw a line up until we reach the region. The distance from Y equals zero to Y equals X squared plus one is X squared plus one units. And the distance from Y equals negative two to Y equals zero is two units. So our inner radius is going to be the sum of these distances. Now we go all the way up through the region and out the other side. The distance from Y equals zero to Y equals negative X plus three is negative x plus three. The distance from y equals negative two to y equals zero is again two. So the total distance is this distance plus this distance negative x plus five. The integral, we're almost ready to completely set up. It's the outer radius squared. Minus the inner radius squared. And we'll simplify that. But first, limits of integration. Okay, we are going from here to here. Both these limits occur where these two curves intersect. So where's that? Well, let's see, we'll set these curves equal to one another, zero equals x squared plus x minus two. Ordinarily, I'd say to use the quadratic formula, but this is a classroom problem designed to work out nicely. 
so that factors and our limits are negative two and one. Let's see, negative x squared is x squared minus five x minus 5x plus 5 squared minus x squared squared is x to the fourth x squared times 3 there will be another x x squared times three. Three squared is nine. And if we now combine any like terms, let's see, negative x to the fourth. squared minus 6x squared negative 10x twenty five minus nine. There should be our integral. <sighs> Always feel like the, the last step here is, I mean, in a sense, it's very straightforward, but it's a bit tedious if we're going to finish this out. We need to take the antiderivative. Well, that's fine. Um, where things get slight tedious is sticking one in here and then sticking negative two in here and subtracting the results. I think we will elide that. and just give the answer 207 divided by five times pi.